Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. You're joining us here where our ostriches are just making a run for it. So if we can uh, if we can just get those back in please. Yeah, that would be lovely. Right, you need to go home. Go go back in there. Yes, yes, it's fine. Now, this bit of barrier there, we need to call a mechanic urgently. They've, uh, they've all fleed into this habitat, which is fine, because there's not actually anything in here. Uh, that does still make the alarms go off, however. Oh no, now they're all at it. Look, for goodness sake. Right. Hang on. Oh, this is a disaster. Right. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Right. Get, get that. Yeah, put you in a box. This is going to end up with most of... Oh no, another one. Crisis. Yeah, there we go. It's escaped. The animals are all escaping, that's not good. Right, we'll have a screenshot of that, because that'll make for an in- No, 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 no! Stay there! Right, there we go. That's gone back in, so that is fine. Right, for goodness sake. Right. <laughs> Gives you a dick, it really does, doesn't it? Right, that's fine. Everyone's happy. Well, the ostriches are, because they're back at home. But, uh, but I'm happier as a result now. We've, uh, we've got the African wild dog, that's excellent. Uh, we're going to actually start researching the doll sheep now. I've put some more of them in. I have also put another sable antelope in. Uh, because I've put another couple of females in. Because actually, if I pause that for a second. Uh, right, hang on. I say if I pause that and then don't go and pause it. There we go. Right, are you, uh, are you still going to play? Are you still going to play nice sable antelope? Antelope? Antelope things? Same with you, there we go. Lovely. Right, get that back on there. Bit of sable antelopage on the screen. Excellent. And that is, I mean, they can all be seen. Is, are we okay with this? We're not stressed as a result? No? All good? Uh, right, we've got some sort of, oh, lovely. Claim a reward there. Dangerous fighting due to overcrowding. Oh, yeah, we, we had that in the last episode, didn't we? Uh, so, yeah, let's go back to animal trading, make sure... Have we got a doll sheep? Right, hang on. What have I put in here? Have I put a lady sheep in here? Because if I've put a lady sheep in there... Uh, no, I've put a male in there. Right, that's not going to help them putting another male in. Let's have a look at the old sable antelope. Have we got another male? We have. Right, there we go. Right. Put that in there. Lovely. Right, well, we'll just unpause that. There we go. Uh, now, our uh, our doodads that we put in last time, our little uh, African wild dogs, seem to be doing pretty well, to be honest with you. They seem happy enough. The uh, If you look there, the barrier status isn't particularly brilliant. You can't even tell it's an African wild dog from here. God, I don't know. Right, call the mechanic, because uh, the barrier status is, uh, is not looking its best. Look at that. It's all uh, getting very, very glassy and cracky. Glassy and cracky, not quite a word, Joe, but yeah, it's, uh, it's getting not good, so uh, we shall tell you what we could do. Should we try, should we go for the old facility bobs? What about a, uh, yeah, viewing dome entrance there, because that's a perfect size actually there, isn't it? Now, hang on, nature facilities, it's down at the bottom, isn't it, if I remember rightly. There it is, right, we'll have one in the middle. One over there, yeah, lovely. That'll do, two viewing domes, there we go. Now you can go inside and see the African wild dogs. Lovely, right. Excellent, what have we got in here? Did I ever actually put anything in here? The Amur leopard, right, okie dokie, I'm with you. Right, okay. Can't see them. Oh, there's, they're, they're all down here, look, look at them. Lovely. Oh, it's very sweet. I'm not really a cat lover, but, you know, that is... What's the social? Right, space. Insufficient area or crowding is present. I'm not being funny. It's huge. You, you've got plenty of space. Flipping kids, whining. You've got absolutely loads. Look, go over here. It's fine. There's loads going on over here. Hmm. Right. Let's, uh, oh hang on, right, so let's have a look and see if we can get another doll sheep. A female doll sheep. No, still only on with the, the, with the males. Oh, that's so annoying. Right. Let's have a look. What else can we get here? Oh, we could get some sort of monkey. A roughed lemur. Where are you from then? Roughed lemur? 
Oh, they're critically endangered. They're from Madagascar. Right, so... They might actually fit in around our African. I know it's not Africa. Well, it's off the coast of Africa, isn't it? But I think they'd fit in pretty well. Right, let's let's go for the lemurs. Where are they? There they are. Right, have we got enough got enough points to buy them both? Right, there we go. Adopt them both. Black and white roughed lemur. Right. How about if we oh no, because there's not a lot of space, is there? We could have the lemurs on this corner here. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll go for a bit of terra terrain. Terrain. Right, there we go. Just just sink that down. There, lovely. Alright, tell you what we need. We need to flatten that. How far down is that? Not nearly far enough. Right, there we go. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh no, a king penguin's about to die. Oh, I really don't like it when the animals die on this. Oh no, I oh for goodness sake, right. Back down. Right, there we go. Lovely. Right, well, well, now there's an idea behind this. There is an idea behind this, and you shall see if it works. I'm hoping it'll work. There we go. We'll, we'll fill that to about there. Right, get get that in like that. And do you know what? We'll leave that in the middle. That'll do. Give them something to climb up and down. Tell you what, we'll, we'll pull that pull that up like that. Perhaps a little bit dramatic. There we go. Just gives them something to you know, something to do. They could potentially whiz up and down there, couldn't they? Right, we'll just tap that bit down a bit. Lovely. Right, okie dokie. So we need a fence at the top, obviously. Uh what are we going for? Steel mesh? It's climbable, is that you see? Uh, not climbable. Right, tell you what, not climbable. Right, if we bring that all the way down there. Uh, what what are you thinking about? Five meters, four meters. Lovely. Right, okie dokie. Back up to ten. Keep that round. Yeah, lovely. Right, bring that all the way round there. And I've realised as well we do actually need a, uh, a bit of a ramp, don't we? Uh, to rain. Right, can we smooth that? Smooth. There we go. Right, smooth that out. There's a reason we're smoothing that out, although that's not going to work. Right, we need to make that smaller. What about a bit of a bit of that? Right, there we go. All right, make it. There we go. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Because the keepers need to actually be able to get down here, don't they? You know, just so that they, uh, you know, they need to be able to keep an eye on the uh, on the lemurs. So just smooth all that out. Now is that yeah they'll be able to walk down there, won't they? Right, smooth it all out. Lovely, right there we go. Oh, it's working beautifully, beautifully. Fantastic, right. I don't know how they're gonna get up there, but that can be their problem. Uh so we are gonna go with a bit of uh, bit of gates. Put a gate on there. Uh where are we? It's barriers, that's why. Glass gate. Too uneven for the placement. Oh, that's no good. Just have a habitat gate. There we go. Bit of a uh, bit of pathage. Tell you what, we'll have a bit of red brick path. Lovely. It's not really the African bit anymore, is it? Oh, I suppose it sort of is. It's a right funny looking thing, this, isn't it? Right, so the brick wall's not climbable, at least. So if we can, uh, if we can get both of the lemurs in there, I think it's perhaps going to be a little bit big. Is the habitat right? We're going to have uh, some one-way glass there. Although I would quite like the glass to be the other side, if that's all right. There we go. Right, and another couple there. 
open my glass. No, 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 the other way, the other way. There we go, right. What's with the... What's with that? That's very odd. Why has it got little... Little doodads in it that I don't know. But hopefully they'll be able to see the lemurs. Tell you what we'll do. We'll just make the barrier a little bit higher. Now I don't know what they're actually going to want in their enclosure. I imagine, from my limited knowledge of lemurs, and I'm sure that like most people, my entire lemur knowledge comes from Madagascar, they're going to want a lot of trees. Right, tell you what we'll do here. We'll have one, two... We'll have three in the middle. There we go. One, two, three. Tell you what, we'll make it four. Why not? Plenty of uh, plenty of opportunities. One way glass. I don't know if the lemurs will... I mean, I could read the Zoopedia, I know, but I don't know if the lemurs will want one way glass. I suppose they won't dance around to I like to move it, move it, will they, if they can see that people are watching. Right, where are our lemurs? Are they on the way? Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll go with habitat first of all. Right, food and water. Black and white rough lemur. There we go. Right. Water pipe. Oh, here they come. Right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have uh, some water down there. Yeah, lovely. A couple of doodars of water spread about. Lovely. And then uh, feeding platform. Lovely. Right, we'll have one of you there, one there, and uh, one just sort of here? No. Down there. There we go. Can you, you can see that. Oh, you can see that. There we go. They can easily see that, can't they? There we go. Oh, we've got a lemur. Social group is zero. What about now that... Ah, look at that. Now the wind and they haven't got enough space. Right, there isn't enough plants for starters. We need more climbing area. And, uh, right, we'll take care of the terrain first. Uh, right, hang on, painting. Right, we need more short grass. Too much long grass. Common, uh, it's a common sort of complaint, isn't it, amongst our, an our animals that there's too much long grass, but that is just the, uh, the place that we're building, isn't it? Right, there we go, a bit more long grass. Lovely. Right, get that all painted in. And everybody is happy with that. There we go. Right. So, we need less long grass. We need more soil. Right, soil heavy. Let's, let's go for a bit of soil up here. There we go. Right, a bit of soil there. Lovely. Paint all that in. And just sort of bit of that. There we go. Right, a bit of soil light as well, just to you know, just to sort of add a bit of bit of 3D, bit of depth to it. Lovely. That's that's looking good. I mean, it does sort of look like I've put some sort of ginormous sweet potato in the ground, doesn't it? But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Right, nature. Right. Well, first, what we need to do, sorry, is we need to uh, beds and shelters. They don't seem to want beds and shelters, so that's fine. Enrichment items, uh, a forage box. Well, we'll put a forage box there, and uh, and a small feeder. Tell you what, can we can we put the feeder up here, and then everyone can see it. Ooh, oh, that has right. That's not what I was going for, but it's fine. Right, cardboard box, couple of toys in the bottom there, just to keep them. Uh, right, hang on, a sprinkler, lovely. Duck, mirror mobile, lovely. That's awesome. Right, okay, so in terms of plants, what do we need? Africa and tropical. So we need some big trees for starters. Right, hang on, that's a fig tree. We don't want them to be able to leap out of the uh, out of the, the jungle, do we? Right, tamarind tree there. Lovely. Right, this, this coverage business is looking good. Right, fig tree of you there. We need big trees. I want really, really big trees. Tamarind tree, oh right, that's not really a big tree, is it? Weeping willow, lovely. Have a couple of them dotted about, lovely.
You see, they're going to be happy with that, aren't they? All that climbable space. Plenty of weeping willows. What's that? A kapok tree. Oh, wow. See, that's exciting. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to swap that out for a kapok tree. Which looks ridiculous at the top of that hill. It looks absolutely stupid. But the problem is, is if, if I put that in there... Hmm. It's a great idea. Custard apple. Mm. So I would like some sort of huge tree at the top, but it's it's a bit of an odd place, isn't it? Right, tell you what, we'll have a couple of those palms. Lovely. They can climb up there. You're not going to be able to see these lemurs, are you? Because they'll just be forever in trees. Right, century plant down the bottom there. There we go, a little bit of... A little bit of decoration. Always in threes. You know, I like... Oh, hang on, where, where's the zoo got? Oh, I can't see anything now. Right, tell you what, back over to the... Uh, back over to here. Looks a little bit like aloe vera, doesn't it? There we go, just a, just a couple dotted about. Lovely. Bit of a sprinkler. It's a shame there's no... I'm, I'm looking a bit more... I'd, I'd like more like shrubbery. It's this tropical leaf litter. Bit of that down on the floor. Lovely. How's it doing in terms of the climbable business? Are we, uh, are we, are we climbing? Yeah, we've got enough climbable area. I just really hope that it doesn't like climb up here and fire itself out at the top, because that is something you've got to, you know, you've got to really watch. Right, what's the, uh, what's the thought here? Nobody's visited it. Right, nobody probably, uh, knows that there's meant to be a lemur in here. If I move this tree to, to, I don't know, where can I move this tree? There. They'll be able to see up there. So if it's playing... Right, I need uh, I need some some more doodads. There we go. You are the wrong species. Black and white lemur. There we go. Right. Black and white lemur. No power. That's fine. We'll sort that out in just a moment. Right, there we go, that's good. Another black and white lemur there. Right, how are we going to do this with the power? Uh, solar panel, right. We can get that. I mean, we can just move this, can't we? Right, hang on. There, no. Move, why why won't you I, I don't want to move you in your block oh hang on because I'm editing a group that's why right there we go move that no 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 right don't want to edit a group I, I don't want to why do I have to move it as a group I, I don't is it, is it in there oh well that's made everything worse right I, I don't want a grid just want to move this. Is that better? I mean, are you are you happy now? I mean, that looks ridiculous. Right, okay. I'm so bad at this game. If I was better at it, it would it would not be you know it'd be easier. I don't get why these have to have a negative impact on you know. I could have just put placed a new one and just deleted that one, couldn't I? Did not think at all. Right, hang on, what about solar panels? Why do people not like to see solar panels? I don't get why it has a negative impact on them. There we go. Right, lemurs are happy now. I'm going to say they're happy. I've got absolutely no idea where they are. I don't think the keeper does either, to be honest with you. Right, hang on. The bongos are hungry. Why are the bongos hungry? Right, hang on. Keeper assigned. All the bongos are hungry. 
Oh, this ostrich has been in a box for too long. Right, well, unbox it then. Why are all the bongos hungry? Is it because there's a lot of... Oh, my lord, there's loads of the things. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll put more food feeder doodars down. There we go. Couple more. Now, fill it with food. Oh, there's one there. Look, well, why don't you just go and eat if you're hungry? There's, you know... Oh, because the keeper's just going round now. I see. Right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Right, see, can we... Um, let's have a look at what animals we've got. We've got quite a few... Right, view animal management. Right, bongo. Where are we? Bongo. Oh, yeah, we do have a few, don't we? Right, that one's pregnant. No, it's not. It's a male. Of course it's not pregnant. What What does that symbol mean? Come on, tell me. Oh, that one's pregnant. Right, I'm with you. So, one, two. No, no, no. Why is it flung me to the top here? Right, bongo. We'll just search like that. There we go. That's better. Right. Get rid of you two. So, have we got any golden males? One, right, we've got a golden male there. Can we get rid of one that's pregnant? Is that okay? I don't think that's okay, but we're, we're going to go for it. Two. And obviously we can't get rid of the children. So, we will, we've got enough money. Oh, what's happened? Why does it, why did it kick me off then? Right. One, two, three. How old are you, though? You are quite old. 14.3 years of age. Right, we'll get rid of that gold one. It, uh, do you know what? I'm going to throttle this game in a moment. Right, these bottom ones have to go. One, two, three, four. Right, release to the wild. And we get 47 little points for doing that. Means we get to keep on top of it, doesn't it? It sounds heartless and awful, and... You know what, it really is sort of heartless and awful, but, you know, it needs to be done, doesn't it? Right. Actually, no, it's not heartless and awful at all. I'm releasing them to the wild, they should be happy. They owe me. They owe me big time. Right. Uh, so, mechanic research. No, 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 no. Right, animals. Back to the bongo. There we go. Right. What are we getting rid of then? So, we'll... Is that an alpha male? Is that what that one is? Right. That makes sense. But I want that. Right. So we're keeping that one. These top ones are going. Just doing a few at a time. Because obviously for some reason it keeps kicking me out of it. Right. So we're going to keep that male. Because that male there to here is 1649. That's really good. That female... Is 1649. Right, okay, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the rest of them. Apart from those. Lovely. That's good. Right, okay. Get rid of the lot. One or more cannot be released, right? Okay. We'll release the ones that are fine. Which ones can't we release? Right, back to Bongo again. There's probably a really easy way of doing this. So, uh right, oh yeah, because they're kids, right. Can't release the kids to the wild. Oh, you see, I want rid of those. Because I don't want her getting pregnant with the ones that... Right, ah ha, ha Right, contraceptives. Excellent. Yeah, you see, you, you know how to do this game. It just depends. Are they related? Because they could have come from different females. There's a way we can do this, isn't there? We can test the matching of them somehow. Uh, right. Genealogy. Right, I've just clicked that. How does that work? To here? View genealogy. Aha! Right, okay. Right. Uh, parents, those. That is a... Right, Femi. Is Femi the female one? Oh! Right, so we can't make you... So we'll put you on contraceptives as well. Right, now we need animal trading, bongo. We need more bongos. We always need more bongos. Right, bongo. We need, like, a brilliant woman. So you're 2.8 years old, Xena. But you have a little bronze medal. I mean, you've got a silver medal, so that's even better. 
but you are 9.3 years old. We're probably going to have more luck with this one. Right, let's put you in the old quarantine. How awful does that sound? Everything I've just done, it sounds so heartless. But obviously it needs to be done, doesn't it? And actually, while we're here, we need to keep on top of the ostriches. Who's attracted protesters? What's this? Western Diamond... Oh, it's got no power. Oh, right, it might be getting a bit chilly then. What is this area? Oh, I made this area. Yep, yeah. <laughs> what is this area? What an idiot. Right, power. Uh, right, no, 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 no. For silly bobs, yeah. Right, there we go. Right, there we go. No, 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 no. Get rid. Exhibit is just two. Right, hang on. Put all this stuff in here. Climate. Climate is good. Right, are we happy now? Right, the snake is happier. What's in here? Is this something else that's, like, kicking off? Oh, an American bullfrog. Oh, aren't these the one that, uh... Oh, it's an elderly frog as well. Right, okay. Can we... Oh, we can request an exhibit animal. Oh, hang on. Spotted a protester. Right, we've been fine for the protester. Animal trading. American. Oh, no, hang on. We're, we should be in exhibit trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Refresh the list. American bullfrog. Aren't these the ones that's caused absolutely may... You know, they caused absolute mayhem in Australia. Are they not? Right, hang on. American bullfrog. Oh, right, hang on. Right, male and female can both go to there. Now, this chap in here... Where is he? Uh, right. Enabar can go to the exhibit trading. How do we do that? How do we move him to storage? Move. Oh right, can we can we move him over there? Ah right, there we go. Right, right, right. You think I haven't played this before? There we go. Move him to the animal trade center. Why is there only one frog that's appeared over there? Oh, I don't know. Right, well that is where we're gonna leave it for today. Uh Xena the Bongo has been discovered, has been diseased. Excellent. Everything requires repair. Oh no! Why is the zoo breaking all of a sudden? Right, hang on, hang on. Right, I'll just stick that in there. That can be a temporary thing. It's not great, is it? But is this because I've got no mechanics? Right, hang on. Mechanic requested. This is probably why all the animals are dying. Why are we not sort of repairing things quicker, people? Why are we not doing things quicker? Mechanic urgently. Vet research is complete. High amounts of litter. That's a thing. I haven't re uh, hired any cleaners in quite a while. Right, we've got loads of that done. Power source. Right, tell you what we'll do before we go then. Let's say, uh, how many cleaners have we got? Uh, caretakers, we've got eight. Right, well, we are going to have more than that. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've got the money to hire them. I want an immaculate park. Make it happen. It would be better if uh, if we had bins, wouldn't it? So what I'm going to do is, uh, is just go guest facilities, European bin. I'm, I'm just going to go for bin. Uh, right, there we go. Bins. Just a European bin. A European bin will suffice. There we go. Right, a couple of them. An Indian bin. I think we need to just stick a few more bins down... Uh, you know, down this road here. Doesn't seem to be an awful lot of stuff going on down here, but we'll uh, we'll go for some Planet Zoo bins. There we go. Right, another... Oh, we've got bins down here. That's probably why we're doing so well in this area. Right, well, yes, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, 
uh, please do click the like button, it's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and do make sure that if you've got any fantastic ideas, I mean, you've seen from what I'm doing here, then I'm not particularly great at this game, but, uh, but yeah, do let me know in the comments if you've got any fantastic suggestions for this series. Other than that, hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.